so now we are going to look to a new type of provider that is called the state provider the state provider is a provider that let you change its inner state and it exposes a new property called state so let's change our provider into state provider and here now I have only changed the content and I have added a floating action button with the on press argument and um, yeah so let's call this here so it's a string my data and we have always to call this function but this time we have to do things differently since now, uh, since now it exposes a new property called state, so we don't only need to call uh, our provider here with watch, but we should call the state of our provider. So now let's print our data here. Let's insert a text inside. Okay, let's rebuild. Okay, as you can see right now, we have our beautiful flower. Let me change the text. Okay, now it's nice. Maybe it's too much. Okay, so. Here we have our data, this is our flower. As you can see, it works everything nice. Now, how we could change our data? This is the question. To do so, uh, we can go into our button and here we are able to call a, a, a new function that it will be uh, present into our context. So let's call context dot read. So inside the unpressed, you must use the read function instead of watch. This because so it don't let the application to rebuild, and the read is a method attached to the context. And the reason on why you must use this instead of other you can read it here or into the documentation basically uh, you must because it is uh, this is the suggested thing to do and uh, using watch or other things is an anti pattern now we are able to read our value by passing to it the my provider we need to change our state as before. So let's type state equal. And let's change it into this other emoji. So now let's stop here. And as you can see, it has changed. Even though we are inside a stateless widget, it has updated his value because we are using a consumer. Uh, after pressing the button, we are able to change the state and the state updates. And since here we are watching for it, uh, when the data updates, it will update the value here. But consider to remove things that you don't need to update. For example, this column here, you have to delete it so it will only update the things here inside if you want to pass something to it uh, as you may know uh, you can pass a child for example child and here you can pass your child 